assalamu alaikum now in this lecture we will study how to use a set and reset instruction in ti portal so this is the nano contact this is a set coil this is the nano contact this is a reset coil here and this will be uh, i am putting here an uh, input of i0.4 and this will be an input of a q0.4 and this is an input of i0.5 and uh, i want to reset my same output this one so i am using a same address so if this input will be high this q0.0 will be on and remain on this will be latch this will be set so if this will be off this will remain on so if i want to uh, reset this uh, q0.4 i need another input that is 0.5 it will uh, reset the q0.4 because here is an address of q 0.4 so let's see how it works so i can load this uh, basically and monitor this one so now if uh, uh, this is basically my input now if they are uh, i0.4 is my input now so i if i switch on my i0.4 so q0.4 will be on and it will be on and it will remain on if i shut down the i0.4 so this will be off and this will be remain on so if i put an i0.5 will be on and this will reset my q0.4 so that is basically an set and reset instruction so this network 3 and 4 will be equivalent to network 1 so these are the same uh, work they are doing a same work latching and interlocking circuit have a same working as set and reset so let's see more operation in set and reset these are the sr and uh, sr uh, flip flop so let's see set and reset flip flop what they are doing now we have an input of the set point and an input as the uh, reset point so this is my output here so let's see i can put and uh, input here i0.6 and here i0.7 here we have an output of q0.5 so this will be the when this input will be high this output will be set and when this input will be high this output will be reset so these two network are performing the same thing as this one so this is in the block type set and reset so same as we have here an rs and a rs flip flop here is a reset is first as the upper part and the set is in the lower area of the rs block so here we are using an input of i1 point let's say 0 i1 point 1 and this will be a q0 point let's say 6 i cannot use an i input of i0.8 in siemens so i i am using now another uh, input that is i1.0 we will see addressing in uh, other lectures so also so what will happen when this input will be high this q0.6 will be reset because it is connected with r and when i1.1 will be high then this input uh, this output q0.6 will be set so that's is a basically a, a same uh, function of all three networks but there is some difference between these two of them here the set, set point is at the upper uh, upper, upper part of the sr flip flop and the reset at the lower part same as rs reset at the upper part and set as the lower part in plc programming there is a rule there is an a uh, thumb rule that lower line has an priority a what what does it means lower line priority means when this input will be high this will be set if this will be high then this will be reset but if i say if both the input will be high then what will happen it will set reset or set so as per the rule lower line has an priority so if both the inputs will be high then i0.7 will work because it is at the lower side so it will be reset so in this uh, uh, in rs uh, if both the inputs will be high then i1.1 will work and it will be set because set is at the lower point so that is basically an basic uh, difference lower line has an priority is a rule of the ladder programming so let's see and check so 
so that is basically i0.6 it will be set my q0.5 so if i shut down it will remain on if i switch on the i0.7 it will be reset so if i switch on both of the input let's say it will be set and it will be reset so it will reset will work so i q0.5 will be off so that is basically off so let's check the rs flip flop here is a another input i place let me make it bigger insert input variable and that can be a one i b one that will be now i 1.0 so i can if i put uh, i switch on the i 1.0 so nothing will happen because it is already a switch off q0.6 is off so if i switch on the i 1.1 so it will be set q0.6 will be set so if i switch on both of the inputs i 0 i 1.0 and i 1.1 then the lower part will behave will work so it will be remain set let's see and this is on but q0.6 is on it is on so because as the lower line has in priority as the set is at the lower part of the rs flip flop so this is how the set and the reset instructions are working uh, thank you very much in the next lecture we will see the timers thank you very much